developing story tonight. Law enforcement says they're not going to be able to arrest their way out of the opioid epidemic here in Connecticut. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. Today in the capital city, three people died of overdoses in less than 24 hours. Hartford police are teaming up with state prosecutors and the Department of Addiction Services to find a way to keep addicts out of prison and force them into rehab. News 8's Bob Wilson is live with how authorities plan to implement this program in other towns and cities. Bob. Yeah, and you know, they're looking at it from all angles. They're looking at national trends, regional trends throughout New England. And they say they have to start looking at this as a crime and more as a way to turn this around, getting them help. These are just a few of the thousands of faces arrested for allegedly possessing or dealing heroin. They're the faces of the old and the young, the first time user and the heavy addict. And after three overdose deaths in the capital city in the past 24 hours, Hartford is looking to change the way they fight the opioid addiction. Bottom line is addiction is not a crime. Addiction is a medical issue. We don't need to have addicts in jails. We need to have them in treatment. And that's what we as a society have to start focusing on. Hartford police are teaming up with the state addiction services to come up with an ironclad treatment program to keep addicts in treatment, not in prison. A low-level offender, someone who's committed a simple possession, are addicts, are known addicts that are out there. When, instead of arresting them, getting them into treatment immediately. So while this is a first of a kind program here in Connecticut, the state working with Hartford to try a different approach to the opioid epidemic, they say it's based on a national program out of Seattle and a regional program out of Gloucester, Massachusetts. And they're hoping that if the state and Hartford can flush out all the problems, that they can use this in other towns and other cities across the state and make it a trend. Because Chief Foley in Hartford says they're not gonna be able to arrest their way out of this problem. Every cop out there has made an arrest of an, of an addict when they know that this is probably not the best thing, in fact, the worst thing for this addict, and it's only going to make their problems and their lives worse. In Hartford, this year alone, they expect the arrests and seizures to double and the overdose deaths to double as well. And already, the fire department and paramedics are doing everything they can. Our fire department had 200 Narcan saves this year, around 200 roughly. That's not including EMS and how many they've had. So imagine if we didn't have that Narcan out there. And Narcan is far and away not the answer. It is, an, it is a last-ditch lifeline band-aid to save an addicted user. And he says, what we're talking about here is people with families, people who are getting into this because of the pain medication. If you're a hardcore dealer or you're caught with a large amount of heroin or opioids on you, they're going to throw the book at you. they got to get this stuff off the street. They're looking at the person who's the user who's trying to get their life back on track. They don't believe prison is the way to turn this thing around. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live, News 8.